come for unity. We play with the words, so it's community with a four in the middle. So we ask, or we offer to come for unity, because this is all what community is about, right? This is the way we decided to explore the yoga of Sherobindo. All life is yoga, to bring our consciousness in every little thing that we are doing. Right. So come for unity, we decided to, like, lately in November, I think, to organize it for December, with no budget. So the idea here was to explore knowledge through three dimensions, the three H, head, heart, and hands. Thank you very much, and I think we can applaud the participants before they start. <laughs> My name is Vignesh. I'm an architect. I just finished my bachelor's degree before six months before coming to Orwell. I worked here as a construction laborer for three months to learn the Orwell techniques. But I didn't have a proper platform to know what Orwell is actually. Then I found about this course. How this collective intelligence can be transformed into a something concrete. To do something you need support. You can't do it anything alone. When when you are down down in something, someone will lift you up. That's what this course gave me. Arabindo and Mother, when they came and planted a divine seed here, you people came as birds to know what this estuary tells. Then you started growing this estuary. I never saw this kind of culture and religion in any places. So I wanted to take this out. How to take this out? You, as the basic all who brought this place should help the youth and support the youth to transform what they want and to bring their dream into reality. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Vimal and this is separate for me. I don't I have no idea I had to present as a second person. <laughs> so as a village person we used to think Auroville is not for us. Is for white people, for rich people, that's what lots of people thinking, that's what I used to think. But <laughs> these people from the beginning made me comfortable to come inside and made me realize this is the place for everyone. And they did it again with this course. This is beautiful. In this course, we had lots of things to explore. How to make beehives, bamboos. We had lots of workshops for me. This is a treasure. I just want to share one experience. Normally, if I made a mistake, but I didn't mean to, so, but I apologize, still they don't get it, so they are coming for a fight, I fight. Because I did, I did my best, kind of, so. But here, we used to work on non-violent communication, and we practiced how to put ourselves in other person's shoes, really. And after this course, again, the same incident happened. Outside, again, I heard a person, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it, that person came to fight, I apologize again, and again, and again, and again, I didn't fight, I mean, I didn't, it didn't provoke me, because I can clearly see that person angry for a reason, they, he is thinking, it's my mistake, that's right, I just, I, I don't have to fight him. I just have to make sure he understands the situation, why I did it. I just have to explain myself. And I did it, it worked. At the end of the day, he came to me and apologized. Before, normally, people I fight is single and then he brought, he bring his friend, I bring my friends. <laughs> and then I, 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 I mean, it makes lots of enemies and I meet people outside and it's a mess. Now, it didn't. It's, it's happened. I apologize and make, I made sure we communicated well and it's done. Now I have one more friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Another thing, my mom is there. I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, I brought her here because she likes to see me speaking English. <laughs> Thank you so much for Michael. My name is Satish and uh, I'm Aurelian. I come from Kulapalayam. 
Yeah, when we started this course, designing together with the Youthlink team, and I'm also part of the Youthlink team. And I feel so much different when we designed the course and what we did in the course, because this course we uh, we have the we had the freedom to explore more and uh, listen to individuals, the participants, uh, to do on what they like. And I feel that's uh, so special of any other course I participated a workshop anything I had before. I have so much memories to share, but it's not really coming out. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I missed in the course is some elderly young people as a participant. <laughs> so now I see like there are so many people here, like like to uh, do a course with all of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My name is Roman. I would like to thank you all to be here and to hear about our story and our experience. Uh, I come from France. I arrived there uh, three months ago in Auroville. And I heard about this uh, do-it-yourself uh, workshop. I got to know that I, learned, I like uh, to give massage and I like to garden. Really, really simple thing in life, but which are giving satisfaction at the end of the day. In, I was connecting with people and that's the first time I understood what it was meaning, because I was experiment experimenting it. I saw who I was, I saw who I am, and I saw who I would like to be. To all these participants, and not my friends. Nice. Michael gave us a like, really simple tool, which was first to identify the values, your values, what you are standing for. The values you want to put in your project, the society shift you want to see, and the solution you want to give. And I was looking at the society shift I wanted to see, and it was exactly what I was doing through this course, discovering myself, discovering what I'm good at, what I like. Because in the West, we put you into boxes. You are supposed to study one specific field. We are still looking for the fire in their life. We are still looking for what they are good at and what they like, and to bring love. <laughs> I'm Navin. I'm from Chennai, so a busy city where everything was money. <laughs> I came here as an architect. <laughs> what is happiness? What does this actually mean? Like love. I started connecting people with my heart. I know, we can't just connect with people just with your brain. It's gonna be like, gone. Only if one starts connecting with your heart, soul, and your senses completely, that's when you're like together. Thank you. I'm Michael. Uh, here I present myself as a participant of this, uh, this course. This course is a very really Ovidian course. It's not something that we're bringing from outside and we're just applying in here with some scheme, with some structure. It's something that we really want to make Ovidian. Made by Ovidian 100% without money pretty much like the pioneers and I discovered like things that I could never even imagine. It went beyond expectations. I have seen people doing things that I would never imagine happening. I've seen people sharing things, trying out things, taking risks and changing themselves so much. I see that students in six weeks learn what I learned in seven years. <laughs> so I'm really, really impressed and intimidated by them. So I'm really grateful to have done this experience. And yeah, thank you to the participants who have also created this experience for me. Thank you a lot. My name is Melody. I have just a question in my mind, and my question is, why do we come to Auroville in the first place? 
Why are we all here? Six weeks, it's a long time. Six weeks, you start with complete strangers. You end up with like really good friends. This course was all about discovering ourselves, <coughs> discovering what we are capable, capable of doing, discovering um, community life, and discovering, maybe discovering love also. My major discovery was um, restorative circle. So maybe some of you already know what it is. It was for me like an answer to 95% of miscommunication in the world. <laughs> like, why don't we do all this together all the time? And I've discovered also all the resources and all the possibilities of Auroville and it was like, okay, the question is not why do we come to Auroville, but how, how do we come to Auroville? Do we come open to discovery? Thank you to be here and to hear you. My name is Kashish and uh, I come from Delhi. It gave me the pleasure of knowing people, understanding them and going beyond judgments and perceptions. It told me like how to look as a person, as a soul and not as individual identities. But now, it's my first day of this course. When I come here, step here with the check-in, did never did in my life, check-out never did in my life. So it gave me my position as an individual and at the same time how can I boost my spirit in the collective. With this course, my, my the inner confusion, it came out but at the same time it goes all by itself. I was pretty confused for my future studies so it gave me an clear idea of what I actually like. It's not, about, it's not because of some parental burden or some society burden. It's because of what I want to do and what I want to pursue. Concluding that, I would just share my gratitude to all of you and all of the facilitators who are there and who are not here, who taught me so much and I had no idea that these things even exist, like ATB, I had no idea this thing was uh, invented in Oroville, I guess. And it's amazing, it transforms you so much. And then Arimani, of course, no idea how to sit and stand. But now I know, <laughs> it's, really, it's still a struggle, but I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah, being part of the organizing team and also a participant at the same time is, is quite schizophrenic. I share Michael's um, feeling of sometimes being not intimidated but just so overwhelmed by how much the participants in our group are able to teach us and the experiences with the facilitators also coming from Oroville, how much we transform together with them. And it's, I think I'm, I'm slowly getting addicted to this feeling of transforming so fast, so often, on a regular basis. And this didn't happen so much to me in my early life. I felt like, okay, as a child you learn, you grow, but there's something about being persistent to be aware of your growth every day or through different activities. I thought I would use this as sort of metaphor for some of what I've discovered about myself. It was a upcycled booklet with recycled paper given to me by a participant in the group for Christmas. We all made each other presents and I think it was one of the most valuable informal moments that we shared because we took the time to really think about each other, make something practical, useful, gifted to each other, and it's so valuable. I mean, these little gifts you get from, often from family, but to realize that you can get it from almost anyone, and that you can meet almost anyone in your life and find a way to fall in love with them, if you spend enough time and intention to do so. so we create space together where we feel really safe, and really far from judgment because we are all just so interested in hearing what the truth is. And I keep it short this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow. 
Okay, so I hope that I wouldn't uh, need to do this, but I need to release some tension. So this is what we would do before we sang together. <laughs> okay, I feel much better. So um, I'm Julia. A very key uh, moment of the course for me was when we had a deep sharing. Try to open up, basically. And I didn't manage to open up. I couldn't. I kept listening to people talking, but nothing would come out when it was my turn. And, and then I realized, wow, I have this pain in my chest and my throat, and my stomach is feeling bad, and I don't feel I feel weak and shaky. And I realized at the end of this day, when I didn't speak up, I didn't say anything, that actually, wow, I have inner conflict inside, you know, I can't really express my emotion, express the way I feel to others, so it, it, it felt weird. I was like, what's happening, you know, what's happening to me? It's so strange. Now that I'm aware of this, I, I try to step by step gain more confidence and, you know, be more myself, what, how my heart really feels instead of always being in the toxic mind. So we learned a lot about that in nonviolent communication that the toxic mind can sometimes take over so much, you know, and wow, like, it's so strong and you can't control it, but actually, it's so important to go back to the heart, the essential. And I realized how much we're not used to this, at least not where I come from, you know, of like, ah, oh, what do you feel? Not what do you think, but how you feel inside. Something so important. For me, that was one of the best key learnings I had. I'm Jeannie. As you can see, I'm behind the camera. You will really understand what I saw, what I experienced through the films and the photos that I will share very soon with all of you. More personally, I come from this uh, very ancestral knowledge of Aboriginal people in Australia. And the reason I'm in orbit is because I'm curious about how, how without ancestral knowledge, we can find wisdom. And like, I'm really surprised how young people, without ancestral knowledge, they can actually find wisdom. I'm, I'm really impressed and, and grateful. It's amazing. So now I feel even more inspired and even more sure that it's the right place to be. And yeah, come over for a <laughs> Thank you. Hello, people. <laughs> I'm Deep. It was really a motivation to change my life, to really show me different perspectives of things that I really didn't know. And that really made me question more about what life is all about. What am I doing here? Like, do I even have a role? Or am I just part of a big game? Do I really take another step to figure something out? Or will things come to me as this course came to me? I was actually in organizing the course. I was really skeptic. I was super skeptic, thinking that, yeah, it sounds too perfect, it's too cliche, like people will get really bored and all. But then, honestly, it's not. <laughs> it's it's mind-blowing. It's really mind-blowing. It's like a black <laughs> hole. You just get into it, and you're like sucked and sucked and sucked and sucked, and you're like, where is the end? When does it finish? <laughs> then finally, you're like, you, you come to the course, and then these guys tell you, well, two more days, and then it's over. <laughs> you're like, what? I just got into it. <laughs> like, I just got what, what, what this whole six weeks is all about. I'm really looking forward to more of this. And I got to know a lot of things about myself, which I guess you would be totally not interested to know. <laughs> because it would not make any sense to you. So yeah, yeah. come and join us. <laughs> Sorry, how is it? <laughs> okay. my heartbeat it's fast it's uh, it's a mean it has meanings the meanings is I'm nervous 
and I didn't prepare anything for these presentations because I'm experimenting myself. I want to experiment what will happen when I let the universe mm, um, <laughs> when it passed. <laughs> yes. Before I, 27 years back, I was born at that time. But now, I'm born again. <laughs> I'm born again. Everything was new. I've, um, I'm rebirth. I can do everything. I can do anything that I want. I've realized that all this life, whole life, I've been living in a lie. I want to be true. I learn everything one more time from Aloka, the awareness through body, how to how you breath, how how to sit from Aramani, how to sit straight, how to everything. As long as I have mouth to speak, I will learn about nonviolent communications because it's what it is. I will learn. I will only learn. Yes. And to learn what I do is I help. I came I came here because I want to help. There is seven billion people in this world. Each of everyone needs help. Even me, I needed so much the help. I thought that I will help. But it turns out no. I got help in this course. Yes. 